Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope everybody had a great holidays and everything. Um, I really want to try to get these two videos out because um, everybody's been requesting uh, the, the Tay Cook update and then I'm going to try to do like the G Cook romance thing. And um, I still need to do my um, my Yoon Jin one because that's been requested too. So I'm going to try to get all of these out. I'm probably not going to write them. I'm not probably not going to have a written version, but whatever okay so um if you want to see any of my my other readings please go to uh bang tang all day tumblr vlog and you can see all of my readings there that's in written form and also i just opened up a twitter so you can all go follow me there and i will keep everybody updated on what readings I'm doing, what I'm in the middle of, and everybody can talk to me there about all the readings or discuss whatever. So yeah, you can go there. It should be Bang Tang all day, and you can go to Twitter and follow me there. All right, so I already shuffled all the cards and everything and put them down, so this wouldn't be too lengthy of a video because I know my videos are lengthy. So, um, so yeah, so I asked the cards to give me insight into their, uh, friendship for right now, like currently right now. So right here we have the, um, the eight of cups, uh, basically, um, because I'm kind of reading both of these cards. They're dark cards, so I really feel like there was some arguing going on between these two, and there's been some problems, and I just think that they kind of just left it. They just emotionally kind of just left and not dealing with the problems right now. They're just, like, ignoring it. Like, like as you can see, the man turning his back and going somewhere like that's how I feel like they have some problems and issues and right now they're kind of just turning their backs to it then I got this card where it's like they're probably like the five of cups is usually like the the pity like like you know um looking back on, on all all the wrong like like as you can see they're looking back on the three cups that spilled like all the wrong things or the things that were said and not looking at the good things within their friendship right here with the two cups. I don't know if you can see this, but, but not looking at the good things. They're just focusing on, on all the bad things. But if they looked at the good things and went across this bridge, you know, they could find a solution to whatever problems they're having in their friendship. But yeah, I got like two kind of dark cards. So I'm feeling like the mood right there in the friendship is kind of like dark and not satisfying and um so i'm going on to the next one which is the seven of cups where it's like usually the seven of cups mean that you know you have so many options or so many um like all these cups or so many options that you don't know where to choose from but since since these two cards is like problems that they're that they're not really facing that that's how I feel I feel like this is all of this stuff right here is like a distraction like instead of solving what, whatever is in their friendship that's going wrong I feel like they have so many things in their lives that, that they're focusing on and are not focusing on their friendship right now I feel like all these cups are like you know all the good things are happening to them to them right now which is like oh they got the new place they they're um they're winning all these awards right now you know they got shows to do co concerts schedules all that stuff and i feel like they're just not really focusing on each other and their problems and things like that um and so we come to the um this card where I feel as though the meaning of this card usually is like um, 
this card is usually about like traditions or conventions or um representing like a church or organization or whatever like that um or like giving your power away to a group or, or just whatever i feel as though well what the energy i picked up on this card it was like this is like their solution card i feel like somebody like a teacher or somebody older than them wiser than than them or somebody's going to step in and try to help them find a solution to their friendship or somebody's gonna come in that's much more wiser like a guidance to kind of get these to get these two to come to like a solution you know to kind of like realize some things and come to a solution within their friendship so they can patch it up and the reason why i feel like that too is because of the star card which is like renewal hope and also it's it's that soulmate energy that karmic soulmate energy which is like yeah they have to go through these problems but they still find a solution at the end and they have some healing and some hope and they do get their friendship back on track so I feel like that's that's pretty much what's happening in their in their friendship um, I, I do like to read these things from past to, to future so I really do feel like in the past there is some struggle there is some um, arguments but I'm also feeling like their arguments are more about because um, it's due to personalities like I feel like Tay could be kind of um, he has some shortcomings like, like in his personality where he could promise things but don't deliver on them or, or he might be promising a lot of things to a lot of people but don't really deliver on some of the things he promised other people and I really think that gets on um, Jungkook's nerves. I really think that's what causes problems within them like um, I, feel, I feel like a good example is this since Taehung is making a lot of friends and, and, um, and hanging out with those friends. I feel like he might promise Jungkook like, you know, time, like a certain amount of time that he's going to spend with him. But then Tae might go back and he might promise all these other people time. And then when the day comes for him to spend time with Jungkook, he can't spend the time because he forgot he promised such so and so and so to do this with them. And I really think like they fight over little things like that. Um, that's 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 what I'm picking up on, and just just like like little things like that that they clash over and can't really find a solution to right now. But in the future, I feel like from these two cards, they will find find a solution to whatever arguments that they have within the friendship. So it's a good ending. So I'm happy. I got I got good cards this time because I feel like I feel like I'm worrying people or putting fear into people with my readings and that's not intended. It what's intended is to like just show you guys a real glimpse into what is happening because like if you think that everything is lovey-dovey behind the cameras, no, people are human. We go through our experiences, we go through our dramas, we go through our arguments and disagreements. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and like lie to you guys or sugarcoat it. I just want to give you like a real perspective of what could actually be happening behind the scenes. Like, I'm not trying to like inspire fear or like everything is going to end. Like, no, it's not. So... But, but yeah, but I'm, I'm glad, like, I have good cards this time. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, let me see. Um, I wanted to draw from my, um, the Psychic Terror Oracle deck to get, you know, more insight on the emotions and everything and hopefully some advice from, to, to give these guys, I guess.
Wow. All right, that's interesting. Huh, temptation. I wonder what that could be so tempting. I wonder if that means like temptation to go to to leave and find other things or the temptation of friends getting in the way or the temptation of other friends getting in the way yeah see this cup car new beginnings yeah but like I said they're too focused on everything that that was wrong and they need to be focusing on the good things Crossing crossing the bridge so they can have these new beginnings with each other. Yeah, they just need to just squash everything and then just create a new beginning. Let's see. All the illusions and memories of love. Hmm. Maybe even though they're all focused on, on everything, maybe they do know like they're avoiding the problems. Because may, maybe memories of their great friendship is still like kind of like in the back of their minds. Like, yeah, I need to fix this because he is my best friend. So, you know, you know, you know that that little bad nudge you get when when you argue with your best friends, and you'd be like, dang, I should I shouldn't have said that, or man, we should like like it does not feel right when you're at odds with your best friend. Like emotionally, it don't. You feel that you'd be like, ugh. We shouldn't be on the outs like this. We should patch this up. And and probably that is what's going to lead them to fi finally seeing the light. See? They're going to finally see the light. And they and they they're going to um they they're going to squash their problems. See they they finally see the light of the situation. Like, yeah, you know what? I shouldn't be at odds with my best friend like that. Yeah, let's let, let's patch this thing up. See? They they're, they're going to see the light. Um Oh, there's going to be some emotional withdrawal. I, w I wonder if there's going to be like, um, if this is like the Hermit card. Like, I, w I wonder like if they're going to, they're going to heal, but maybe if they um, emotionally withdraw, kind of be to themselves, and then, then they can deal with their um, emotions and heal them. I don't know why I, I feel like I'm led to read the um, the definition of this um, emotional withdrawal card at the end. Let's see. Okay. All right. So let's say this card represents moving away or withdrawing from a current situation in your life. Whether it's an old love or relationship or leaving behind what was once familiar in the search of new horizon or beginnings. On a physical level, it's easy to get caught up in a materialistic world, but it's just as important to retreat from the outside world to enable you to pause, reflect, and heal. Schedule some alone time so you can commune with your soul and give power of spirit the opportunity to restore your energy level, giving you vitality to move forward in a positive direction. The number eight, infinity, passion, control, and power. This is your time. Use this opportunity to tap into your heart and soul in order to find courage and strength to continue your journey into the wonderful undiscovered territory. Yeah. I think that's what they're going to do. They're probably going to like they're going to get they're going to get the message to to um to have a solution and heal from that solution, but the way they're probably going to heal from that solution and really think about it and move forward in a new direction and within the friendship is they're probably going to like spend some time apart a little bit and kind of just really like think about how how they want to move forward. The, the solution, everything they probably got taught by whoever this is going to be in their lives to like, you know, kickstart the, um, the, the process of them healing 
or, or the process of them um, getting their friendship back together to, to a good place. And so they're probably going to spend time apart thinking about that. And then, um, but like I said, this is a, a hope and a renewal card. So in and, and the healing card, so they're going to get the healing, but how they're going to heal is probably a part in some time, some time alone, some time alone, they're probably going to heal. And then they're probably going to, um, you know, realize they love each other and then move on from there in a much more positive direction in their friendship. So, so yeah, I think that this is, um, all good work all good cards so they're gonna get their friendship back on track so that that's good to know so yeah that's that's all i have so um again thank all you guys for for the support i'm gonna try to um pump some more videos out so everybody won't be waiting so long so um so yeah thank you for your support go follow my um my bang tang all day tumblr blog and follow me on twitter which is a uh, bang tang all day and i will see you guys in the next reading bye